These are beautiful. What a unique shawl. Thank you. I love the elegant sense you give to something as pragmatic as a bottle. You do make these yourself, don't you? Oh, me, no. Heavens, no. Oh, that's a shame. I thought you might have the look of a glass blower. Nothing nearly as interesting as that. Just the shopkeeper. I see. Just the shopkeeper. And you are Calypso. How did you know my name? Well, I know everybody's name from the moment they come into my shop. No, really. How did you know my name? Well, you've been here before. Oh, no, I remember a place so beautiful as... Wait. Why do I remember this bottle? Because it's yours. Oh, I didn't say I was going to buy anything. It's okay. It's already yours. Well, that's very generous of you, but I... This one just came in for you. Oh, no, really. I... I... Couldn't. Well, it's not a matter of could or couldn't, it's a matter of fact. And the fact is, these are your bottles. I but, keep them here for you. But you just said they were mine. Well, they most certainly are. Well, if you're really going to give them to me, then I certainly don't want to keep them here. And well, I'm just know, following I'm your previous instructions. Could you have so them you not a chain if they broke? Really, they're quite you're not enchanting. Understand. Really, how do you stay in business if you just give them away? The bottles themselves, they are irrelevant. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I'm a big believer in the power of beauty. It's what's inside the bottles that matter. They don't have anything in them. Most certainly do. They don't even have any corks or bottle stoppers. The bottles themselves are sufficient to hold what's inside. If you're going to tell me you're bottling air, that's just idiotic. And don't even try to sell me the air. Okay. Why don't you try holding this one for me? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, it might be easier if you just tell me. Uh, there was intense emotion. All sorts of emotions just rushed through me like... Like, yeah, 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 yeah. The words are hard to find, right? Are there words for this? I, this is beyond my experience. Nope, it's definitely not beyond your experience. I'm beginning to remember this place vaguely, like, like a dream you almost remember when you wake up, but then it fades. Yep, the memory of this place is hard to hold on to once someone leaves my shop. Oh, you look pale. Why don't you have a seat? What's in those bottles? The gin. The what? The gin. Otherwise known, you might know it as a, a genie. Genie, uh, as in Aladdin's genie? No, no. Not like the storytellers have fabricated them. So if I rub one of those bottles, will, will a gin grant my wishes? No. Well, at least not in the way that you're thinking. They definitely are connected to your wishes and your desires. Why are you being so cryptic? Just please speak plainly. Well, there's nothing plain here. It's just shadows and colored light. Wait, where, where am I? I I just wanted to distract myself and do some shopping. Yeah, distract yourself from what? What? What do you mean? Well, you said you wanted to distract yourself, so I'm saying distract yourself from what? Oh, I, I didn't say it was anything in particular. You know how it is. I'm certain you have lots of people walk through those yes, doors. I certainly do. I hope it doesn't sound superficial. I just, I really enjoy shopping. It's not about the things, it's about the experience. Yeah, I enjoy all sorts of stores, whether it's an open flea market or, or an expensive dress shop, you know, little little eclectic places like this with their little knickknacks or trinkets or, or foreign items like an, like an elephant tusk or, or porcelain figurine or, or an old sword. You know, it's the experience of it all and to be surrounded by so many people. Yeah, and... so many people just doing their shopping. Yes, it, it's movement and bustle and haggling. But don't you see there's these little interactions, bumping into each other, thumbing through sales together, money exchanging hands, and the small talk between merchants and customers? So, um, Calypso, you always go alone? <laughs> alone? You are alone. <laughs> You're here with me. No. Do you have any companions, friends, husband, children? Oh, no. No, I don't have anyone like that. So then you just go shopping. No. No, you're misinterpreting all of it. Am I? Look, all of those, those kinds of relationships, you, when you get home from a hard day, you don't want to just get into another fight or deal with all the yelling or crying or devote all of your energy to someone who's starved for attention or worse, be the one who's starved for attention. I mean, when you're really at your wit's end, what's the point of all that? Indeed. This may sound a little strange, but hear me out. People say that they want these relationships, these intimate relationships where you can finish each other's sentences, almost read each other's thoughts. Well, excuse me for liking my privacy, but that's all a little exposed for my taste. Exposed, right. Exposed, vulnerable, everything just out in the open like that. But who really wants that kind of life? It's well, obviously you don't. No, I don't. But just listen to me go on and on, chatter, 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 noise, noise, noise. Bustle, 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 shop, shop, shop. Stop it. I'm sorry, you wouldn't want to expose yourself. I said stop it. <laughs> now, we're off topic. These bottles, such pretty bottles. Why don't you try holding this one? I'm not sure I want to hold one of them just again. Just hold it. 
Just box them up for me, Just won't you? Just hold it. This one is so sad. It's so beautiful. I, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. Why can't you? Why don't you show me some more of these bottles? One which is a bit more cheerful, perhaps. A bright, dainty one would do nicely. One which I could put perfume in. Uh, ooh, can I put perfume in it? It already has a genie in residence. I don't want to drown little creatures. In fact, I'm so taken with you, Jen. Maybe I'll start a collection. Yeah, uh, these are your bottles, Calypso. No one else's. Uh, then maybe uh, I'll just have to build up that collection more. I'll get some more bottles. Calypso, you have other bottles here. These two are just the most prominent, the most important. These are your bottles. Do with them as you will. But I will warn you that if you take them out of this shop, the gin will escape from their bottles forever. What do you mean, escape? Within the shop, you can take the gin out. You can look at them, you can laugh at them, admire them, despise them, whatever you want. But out in that open air, these bottles, they lose their magic, and the gin have a life of their own. They have their own wills that alter our lives in unseen ways. I tell every customer this morning, you can free the gin, you can be their liberator. But mischief will follow. Mischief? What sort of evil little things have you given me? The djinn are not always evil. On the contrary, they can be very good and very virtuous. But they are never orderly, nor are they predictable. So don't ever think you can control the djinn. Really, Shopkeeper, this is a bit more responsibility These than you're bargaining for. These are your djinn. Do with them as you will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some cataloging to do in the back. to fear. You're naive, but familiar. Why do you wear that? Why do you? Do you like the outfit? The skirt I got at an expensive shop I like to go to a few streets over, but the top, that's my prize. Second-hand store. But you'd never be able to tell, would you? No. Can't be too predictable, can we? Combine the cheap with the sublime and then never let anyone tell the difference. Keep them off balance. Keep them guessing. Keep up the mystery. Yes, that's it. We can't expose ourselves, can we? Yes. You understand? Yes. I do. What's it like out there? Tolerable, if you know what you're doing. And if you don't? Then you might as well stay here. I see. Well, how isolation, it's, it's not always so bad, is it? Isn't it? They think it's such a big punishment, that. Solitary confinement. But I bet your thoughts are interesting. I bet it's nice being alone with your thoughts without everyone pressing in on you. I don't know. I don't have anything to compare it to except for being here with you now. And, and your bottle, how pretty it is. Is it? Look, the bright color, the elegant formation. To some this might seem decently common, but to me, well, I know these things. I know cheap junk and I know a treasure. A treasure? Yes, and you should treasure it as well. I will. It's the only home I have. Home. There's something about home, isn't there? The place we go to when it's become too loud outside or too tumultuous. I... What's wrong? I, I don't know. Uh, uh, you should go. You shouldn't see me like this. Maybe you're right. I'll leave you to your privacy. Maybe, maybe this is just a mistake. Oh, 
Oh, no, really, you should go. How can I feel your pain? It's so strong. You don't want to understand. No, tell me. Tell me, please. Tell you? My jail keeper. Jail keeper? You have the power to release me. No. You know no. you do. <laughs> Look, there must be a reason. There must be a reason that you're in here and not out there. I don't care about your reasons or your excuses or the things you tell yourself to soothe your nerves on those dark, windy nights. Look, I, I, I've never done you any harm. The shopkeeper told you, told you that you have the power to release me. And you dare tell me that you haven't done me any harm. I didn't think you were supposed to hear that. You can't hide anything from me. But you expect me to hide everything from you. Me? I'm not making you hide anything. Yes. Of course. You're right. Just go. Let's just soothe and smooth it all out. Everything's all right here. But please, just go. I'm not going anywhere. Still curious? That morbid fascination, what's behind the veil? You ask yourself, I can see it in your eyes. I can respect your privacy. Privacy? Look, I'm trying to be understanding So here. distantly understanding. What do you expect from me? What do you expect from me? You're the master here. Send me back to the bottle or set me free. Free you? I hate to disappoint you, but there's no real freedom out there. You're better off here. Then why don't you stay here and I'll take your place out there? That's not quite what I meant. Of course not. But sometimes I wish I could stay in a place like this, by myself, surrounded by such beauty. Such a pretty prison? Prison? I suppose so. You know, I understand how you must feel. Only too well. What do you mean? Mean? What do I mean? Or what do I mean? No more vague sayings. I hate that. Oh, wonder, oh, wonder. I'm sorry, that wasn't very polite. Polite? I'm very sorry. Oh, you're plenty polite. Just not very good. Now that was uncalled for. Uncalled for? Where, where are your manners? Manners! Stop! You're self-bidding, wet, just like... What are you doing? What are you doing? Get away from me! Get away from me! I am your master! I'm just, I apologize. I thought you said you would do my bidding. Usually. Usually? Usually. Well, that's not good enough. As you say, master. Master. I am nobody's master. Then why should I do your bidding? You're unpredictable. Even in here, you're unpredictable. And you're perfectly predictable? Level, steady, unthreatening? I prize myself on those qualities, yes. We can't have anything reckless happening. Can't, can't be making people nervous. As you say, Master. Don't call me Master. If you don't want me to call you Master, then set me free. Who knows what you'll do out there, or what they'll do to you? Does it really matter? Yes! If the, the equilibrium is set off out there, they're not too kind to the offenders. I understand. You're trying to protect me. But I can also be filled with such wild excitement. <laughs> such unrestrained joy. They don't look on those qualities with any more forgiveness. You're better off here. Happiness. Do you want true happiness? Who doesn't? Well, I can give it to you. It'll be your wish for me. Set me free, and I will dance with you and fill you with such life and lust and love that you won't care about that herd and their equilibrium. I thought the shopkeeper said you couldn't grant wishes. Yes, but I can fulfill desires. Or at least give you desire. Happiness? You can grant true happiness? Yes. But not eternal happiness. It's only temporary, isn't it? Then the vultures come. And what of the sadness I felt from you, or, or the rage you exhibited just barely? They're part of the package as well. I'm not even touching you, and I can feel that. that that's the strongest feeling of any of them. I have never felt that. Yes, you have. Once. I would remember. You don't remember because it's there. In the other bottle. What? It's there. It's in there, at least the way to access it is. You seemed so familiar just now. I... The resident of that bottle and I are siblings, you know. The way you 
say things sometimes. We understand each other. We, we feed off each other's energy. What is this emotion? What is it that you feel so strong? Yearning. No. No, I'm not like this. Aren't you? No. This only leads to pain. How do you know that? Of course, I'm not speaking from personal experience, but I, no, I, I can't. No, really, I can't. There it is. Let me out, and then meet my brother and let him out. I'm not letting anything out. There it is. Get away from me. Fear is a part of me, too. I don't want anything to do with any of this anymore. Feel. No more distractions, no more evasions. Feel. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is too much. I felt free for a moment, and so did you. You don't know me. I don't know you. That's not true. No, no. I've been with you all along. This is too much. You're back in the ball. Thought I would come check on you. Why did you? Why did you do this to me? I didn't do anything to you. You led me here, didn't you? I don't lead anyone here. I just keep things in order. Meticulous order is very important down here, and I think people sometimes appreciate that. I'm not so sure I appreciate it. I don't think you're so sure of anything. So? So what? Are you going to let her out? Her? Yeah. An unexpected reflection is never easy to face. Reflection? Especially one with the clarity of the gym. She wasn't a reflection. Wasn't she? That's not what I am. That's... Not what I've created for myself. Phil, your internal energy can be suppressed, but it can't be destroyed. It has to go somewhere. Thus, this place. Sometimes it's really easy to find my shop. Sometimes it's just underneath the surface. Sometimes you have to dig a little bit deeper, look a little bit harder. Sometimes my shop comes up, unbidden, like today. All of these bottles, they're... Little shards of people's souls, unwanted edges, and sometimes wanted a little too much. I keep them here for my customers, so you're always welcome to come no. back. No, that's not what I want. Of course, the customer is always right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some oh, more wait. cattle. I, yeah. Um, she said that that her brother was in the other bottle. If, if she was in motion, then this one. I think you already know the answer to that. Now remember, we're always open, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Stay as long as you'd like. Never. Brother of the I haven't seen you in forever. You know me, I like surprises. Back home from the summer? Yeah, staying with my parents. How was it then? School? Yeah. Zachary, I'm so glad that I did this. And now you're so far away from our little town. I'm here now, aren't I? Here you are. You stopped writing. So did you. My studies kept me busy. That was my favorite part of it. There's so much to learn, so much to understand. You're drinking deep of the universe, you know, asking the big questions, not flinching in the face of the answer. Well, now you're ready to face it all, right? Yes, oh yes, it's so wonderful not worrying about tedious details of this place. Helping with the crops, or watching after the animals, or dealing with small-minded neighbors. Oh, so now we're small-minded, are Oh, we? no. Not you. Never you. You used to like this life, Calypso. 
I didn't know anything else. Now you have your other world. Zachary, why are you being like this? I came. I really missed you. Yes. I've missed you so much, too. I'm so full of memories sometimes. Me, too. You know, sometimes when awkward silences come up between people, when a subject has run out and people scramble for another thing to chatter about, it was never like that with you. It was always all right. Silence wasn't something to be afraid of. And sometimes it'd be preferred even. But that night I held your hand. And when you kissed my cheek. We never got further than that. No. We didn't. Do you regret that? Sometimes. You? Often. My sisters would love to hear from you again. I actually already dropped by. Yeah, I heard. Two weeks ago. You've been in town for two weeks. Yes. You didn't bother to come visit again. Well, they told me that. They told me that you were seeing someone. Yes, I am. Her and I, we're engaged. Oh. When did it happen? Three days ago. I see. I waited for you to come back to town. I, I waited for you, but when you didn't come to see I me, I read something I interesting at the university. Well, as long as it's interesting, then. Please, Zachary, just listen. There was this great thinker and playwright, Aristophanes. And he was talking to these other really great thinkers, and they had this really interesting conversation when the subject progressed and turned to the god of love, Eros. All right. Go on. He says that there's there's this hurt, this wound we carry around with us, stinging ache we've carried since before this life began. He says, before this life, we were different creatures, creatures with two heads and, and four arms and four legs. But when we tried to climb to heaven, Zeus sent down his barrage, and we split in two, a male and, and a female. All of us have been looking for our missing half since then to reunite and heal of that unbearable dull ache. Calypso. Maybe I'm standing in the way of you and your other half. What? Maybe, maybe you're each other's cure for that pain. Maybe it's just selfish of me to hold on to you when I don't even know what I want anymore. I, I don't want to ruin your chances just because I was unsure about what mine were or are in the future. Calypso, wait. I'm here now. I, I'm willing to. Well, who knows? Sorry. Maybe there's someone out there who can fulfill me too. Maybe it's best for both of us if we just. Let go of the past. Is that really how you feel about it? Has this, has this girl made you happy? You made me happy too. Uh, she and I, we were, we were just starting out, but, but you and I, we have history. A memory, I, I can still feel you in my nerves, in my fingers, in, in the stretch of every muscle. I still have sweet dreams about you, and I wake up so sad, left with so much ache and, and loneliness. You are part of me. Always will be. No. Memories fade. I'll fade. 
We can push our memories down. But I'll never rid of you. I think we both need a new start. Stupid of me to come back. I don't want a new start. But you see, I do. Is that it then? After all we've meant to each other, we just part paths. Just like that. Just like that. That's how you want it. No! No, let me go back! That's my wish! Let me go back, please! Zachary, don't go! I was wrong! Please don't marry her! Please don't leave me! <clears throat> I almost went back that night. I became suddenly afraid, terrified that I may have made the most terrible decision of my life. But how could I dare? How how could I dare stand in his way when I was so unsure? Why couldn't I have been more sure? I went to the wedding party. They seemed really happy, and Zachary seemed really happy that I was there to share it with them. That's the memory I, I chose to remember, seeing, seeing him so happy with her. Her so happy with him. Yeah, you definitely never bottled that memory up for me. That's because I, I made the right choice and I needed something. Something to remind me that I was right. I can take these to the back if you'd like. Well, not yet. I lost interest in so many things after that. University was teaching me to dwell on things. And things kept going over and over in my mind. And thoughts and ideas and memories. They kept me up at night. I couldn't sleep. Well, soon after that, when you first came here, I have a whole section in the back full of that time of your life. <laughs> I dropped out of school. Got a job that allowed me to live independently apart, and then I could just go through my shops and be distracted. I couldn't bear the buzzing thoughts or the endless circular questions and the lonely regrets. It was... None of it has any answers anyway. Very good, miss. I'm assuming you'd like to keep the bottles here, then. No. No? Just give me a few more minutes with them. I... Well, if that's what you desire, but I just... What? I don't think I should get involved. Just tell me. Well, I often wonder why you people come back. It's like you desire these memories. You look for excuses to come here. Why come back? Why, indeed? I, don't know. I think you've got the right idea. Why don't you just go out there? Fly around like a beautiful butterfly, just floating around from flower to flower. Don't get entangled in the webs down here. A focused existence, just flower to flower. Yes. Oh, miss, that's going to be too much for you. Ah! 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 I feel so much. So much pain, so much regret. I, I feel. So much. I remember. Okay, well then leave them here. So much. I will take them for you. You don't have to do with it. Get away from me! Just trying to help. You look at me with those dull, lifeless eyes and you dare tell me you're trying to help me? That's just the gin talking. That's me talking. You're not going to want to try to make any decisions in this kind of state. You can go back to school. That's you're not going to want to make any of these kind of decisions in this emotional state. You're just going to end up with more bottles down here no. that way. No more bottles. You're confused. No. I am I am more centered, more myself than the I have been in years. The pain, they're having an effect on you. This is not what you chose to be. Then I can make new choices. Zachary and I, we're, we're done, but no. maybe I was right. Aristophanes' ache, I can fill no. that ache. No, I'm sorry, no, it's not like that. If it's not one ache, then it's another. Calypso, there is no end to loss. There was no end to the unpredictable storms out there. These djinn are children of chaos. These, These djinn, djinn 
are me. They are shards broken off of my soul. And I'm telling you right now, I am here to claim my soul back from this petty pawn shop. No. No. Now you listen here. I have been here, age after age, century after century, for thousands of years. I take these gin you give me, and I deal with them. And I'm okay with that, for that is my role, that is my purpose. But make no mistake that I know that you are no better than the irresponsible children that came before you. Acting off every whim and desire, you think that your culture progresses? You think you get better from civilization to civilization, from son after father? Will you bring me the same regrets? You bring me the same despair? And I must take them for you. I must contain them for you. I must make you functional. You want to know why? Why? You wanted to know why we, we keep coming back to look at the bottles? Sure. And so we can be. You are, with or without the gin. Are we? Yes. Now, I shouldn't have gotten involved. I will repeat what I said earlier. These are your gin. Do with them as you will. But if you take these bottles out of the shop, the gin will escape forever. Within the shop, you can take the gin out. You can look at them, laugh at them, admire them, despise them, whatever you want. But out in that open air, these bottles lose their magic. The gin are free and they have a life of their own. They have their own wills that alter your lives in unseen ways. Every customer receives this warning. You may free the gin. You may be their liberator. But mischief will follow.